Okay, here's a brief case that I finished that I was working on. I had I installed this old Eagle lock on it. It's uh, stainless steel, real rivets piercing the leather. It's an American-made lock that's very special, something you do not see anymore. There are no more lock makers in America that make this. This comes from the old Eagle Lock Company based out of Connecticut that is out of business, but they were making locks for over 100 years, maybe like 150 years. I got these locks a few years ago on uh, eBay. I guess they were liquidating. Somebody was liquidating something, so I got them brand new. They were a little bit old. I polished them up. And they, and whatever that is, it's an Eagle Lock. These used to go on, I believe, trunks. So I put it on one of my classic style Wallace briefcases. This is English Grider leather from the Cedric Tannery. This is also Herman Oak London Tan um, straps on here and uh, the flat stitch handle. It's got a back newspaper pocket. Um, what else? All right, so basic, you know, these are removable. They go all around. There's just a single section. Thing about this lock, um, when I was making it, I wasn't sure how it was going to install. So, uh, so I put it on with rivets and it is a bit tight opening and closing. And the reason why I, I'm starting to realize is because normally I put these locks on around six inches right here and, um, you know, they close and they come, you know, they, they click to close and it's fine. But for some reason, I shorted this lock a little bit. I should have brought this up maybe a, an eighth or a quarter of an inch, like to, to right there. And then it would close real easy. So right now, um, because of the stiffness of the leather, if you're going to close this lock, if you buy this briefcase, you're going to have to really push it in. You're going to have to push this lever to the side to open it and push the flap down. Once it catches, then you push the lever back and you'll get a close. I think once this briefcase softens up and this leather stretches out just a little bit it's not going to stretch out that much but it, once it softens it will stretch it'll meet this top part will meet this bottom part a whole lot easier and it won't be as you know like normally you should be able to just click it down and it goes but because of the lock it needs this moved a little bit and because of the uh the 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 stiffness of the leather pulling up against it you just got to push this flap down into the lock slightly. As you can see, you can see what I'm doing. That's it. You know, normally you should be able to go click, but it's not. You got to hold this latch, bring the top part down, and then let the latch go, and you're good. And you'll have um, a nice lock, American-made lock, the tan stitch by me, and all that. Um, I got a shoulder strap inside, back newspaper pocket, the straps are removable. No pockets inside, it's just a two inch gusset basic. It's, uh, that's it, it's, uh, that's it. That's, uh, that's all I need to say about this. This will be up on my website soon.